Good morning, everybody. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So I got something pretty exciting that finally came in today. Uh, this is a 2023 BMW X7 M60. Now this is my very first time seeing this, and I'm telling you, this is really, really exciting. Um, I saw pictures of this beforehand, and to be honest with you, I did not didn't look good in my opinion. Um, but I don't know how they did it, but look at it. This somehow made it work. You got slightly bigger kidney grill, kind of expected that. And of course you have the LED lights on the top and the actual headlights right down over here. Very bold look. BMW really wanted to make a statement with this car. And I think they did a great job doing that. I apologize for that. I have the keys in my pocket. You're welcome to be having some really big rims. These are some 22 inch blacked out rims. Comes with a new 50 year edition logo. It's all blacked out here, of course. Got the shadow line. Now, of course, similar design, the mentions and everything, I believe are the same. Only difference being the front grille. Wow, look at that, I just spotted that. That is beautiful. Wow. And wait till we get inside. That's where I was really impressed. I did not think they were gonna make much of a difference inside, but they definitely did. Let's go ahead and see what the back looks like. I'm sure it'd be the same, but wouldn't hurt to check. Third row is down. Of course, we've got the Tartufo interior. Now, this is a sold unit, but with the permission um, of the salesperson, I was able to make a quick video. Um, I'm not able to drive it, unfortunately, although I'm sure it's super, super fun. Um, but I just want to take this opportunity to show you guys the car because uh, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering what this looks like. Now, let me go ahead and hop on inside. You also got the M-Style side mirrors. Now, I know a lot of people don't necessarily like that, um, but personally, I do think it makes sense as explained to me by the BMW rep. It's because the M uh, performance models are a lot closer to the actual M cars than they are to the standard cars. So it, it does make sense that it have similar designs to the M car because it is very close to M car. Now we open the door. Doors doesn't look very similar. Powers on Wilkins. But then you kind of get over here and you hop inside. And you're like, what is that? That is, wow, wow, wow. I don't think, you gotta see this in person. It really feels different. And check this out. This is my favorite thing. Look at these keys. These are some really, really nice keys and they feel heavy, they feel cold. So it feels very, very premium. And of course you then have your screen as well too. Your gauges. Look at the new iDrive. Really, really fast system. Um, the sound, uh, if you use a speaker, it just will react and give you directions right away. It doesn't really even think anymore compared to the previous model. But yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, those were the biggest differences. Of course, you know, you do have the crystal shifter here. Uh, the shifters are now similar to the IX. So you don't have that long thing anymore, which I think is a good step in the right direction. Of course, you get the M Sport steering wheel, heads up display and everything. I just, this is great. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Uh, if you're considering maybe ordering one and you would, you would like some advice on what comes standard or what features you might think you want um, I could also go over what availability we might have over here But I hope you guys have a great day and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Take care